Hi, I'm Jack, I'm the training manager at 3D GBRE. Today we're over at Heineken John Smith's in Tadcaster doing some 3D training. So, my name is Shemaine Moon, I work for Heineken for 10 years and I'm currently a Canon Shift Manager. So, here at the John Smith's Brewery in Tadcaster, we recently um, obtained a 3D printer with our link to the Centre of Excellences within the Heineken group around the world. We've started our journey but we're very very new to 3D printing and the concept and the capabilities as a whole. Uh, my name is Ben Milner and I am the operations graduate at Heineken Tadcaster. We've just been sort of growing our knowledge and I think I had some experience in the past of doing 3D modelling but never really too much 3D printing. Um, so now we've got the 3D printed site, time to start trialling and sort of playing with it and learning the, you know, learning new skills. I've been developing since and we're just trying to continue to further our knowledge uh, in terms of like going on to more advanced tooling, um, advanced tools within the software and also advanced uh, printer settings when we're actually setting up the printer and when we're 3D printing. So getting a, a better range, um, a better use of a better range of materials so that we can use the printer for more applications than we currently are. So my recent exposure to 3D printing was really the first time that I've ever had anything to do with it. You know, you, you see it on YouTube, you see it um, with bigger companies around the world, but you just think it's, you know, it's really expensive, high tech and, you know, not really uh, available to, to mainstream workers. My expectations at first was that I wasn't really going to be able to do it. However, now that we've had a bit of training through 3D GBI, yeah, um, the software isn't as scary as what you initially think. With the 3D printing so far, with our uh, skill set being, I suppose, quite modest and us being quite new to it, uh, a lot of the printing we've been doing is around like visual management and around safety. So um, we've had tags um, printed for uh, labelling stuff, making sure that people are using the right tools for the right job. Uh, in addition, for uh, a lot of the conveyors and stuff that we have along are on site are set um, obviously different sizes for different um, for different products and so what we've got is a series of spaces and collars um, 3D printed uh, uh, clearly labelled so that people can set the guides up a lot more easily a lot quicker because um, they've got the right reference points. So the training package we spent two days over in Chorley it was very informative you know everybody got to have their own laptop get onto the software but also there was loads of examples that you know 3D GBI have already printed at their headquarters so you're really starting to unlock all the time uh, the capability of the, the software, of the hardware and then we can transfer that back at site into stuff that we can use in our production areas on the line through innovation but also sharing some of the digital files from other breweries around the world so that we can just really steal with pride stuff that they've already implemented but that print it here uh, on site within the UK. So I've really enjoyed my training so far um, but also you know now that I understand the capabilities I might not quite remember how to do it as the design but really we've got a link with 3D GBI now and also we've built up a network and we're all learning from each other within Heineken as well and you know the capabilities are pretty endless um, everybody gets to the same output in a different way which is also fascinating but we really just need to keep pushing um, and we know that we can innovate straight onto our lines in short um, time frame and it's a lot cheaper as well than going to these you know fabrication companies. I think for Heineken especially being a production site here and we've got lots of uh, production lines um, both um, actually making beer and also uh, packaging it I think one of the big applications we are looking for is for site modifications so that things can run a little bit smoother and I think the the big benefit or the big drive to do it is the financial benefit of being able to design and print and maintain our own customized tools. The training's been super beneficial we come in with quite limited knowledge and I think they've uh, the training course itself and, and Jack the one who's taking the training, they've gone through um, the simple tools and explained the process really clearly. That means that we have a really strong foundation of knowledge, which means when we go to do our more advanced tooling or our advanced features within the software, that because we've got such a strong foundational understanding, it means that 
uh, we have the ability to learn the new features which also have been explained exceptionally well and hopefully um, with the course from a few weeks ago and the course from today as well that uh, we're going to be able to take all of these tools and all of these features forward and use them uh, more widely across sites.